Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. We're going to observe the sunset and I will offer an explanation of how the sun is setting above the Flat Earth. This footage was taken on the west coast of Phuket, near the equator, so the heading is pretty much due west. The camera is horizontal, so we see the horizon in the center of the field of view. We see the sky and the surface appear to meet dead center. There is no way we can physically measure the distance to the horizon. We can make assumptions based on a model, but we simply cannot physically measure that distance. We just know that when you look across a flat surface, it will appear to rise to the observer's eye level, if they are looking directly ahead. And assuming that the clouds are at about the same height above the surface as they go off into the distance, we see the same thing happening. Those clouds appear to converge with the surface in the distance, creating the horizon, which has nothing to do with any physical or geographical curvature. After the sun set, I moved the camera back and tilted it up so we can see more of the sky. And what we can notice is that uh, those clouds appear to be touching the surface in the distance. But of course we know that there is still a large gap between the surface and the clouds, but we just can't see it. It's physically impossible. Even if we tried to zoom in, we could not see the gap that is still there between the surface and the clouds because it is just too far away. So in reality, those clouds in the distance at the horizon are still very high above the surface and the sun is still very high above the surface and those clouds. So all that's happened is the sun has continued on its path high above the surface and above the clouds and gone beyond those clouds in the distance on the horizon and of course has appeared to sink below them simply because of the laws of perspective which govern any observation that we make. So we are seeing exactly the same thing happening in the distance as we would do if everything was much closer. For example, if we could see a mountain in front of us and the sun appearing just above the mountain, when we move closer to the mountain, it would block off the sun from our view. The same applies for close clouds when the sun appears to go behind the clouds. And this is what's happening in the distance, except we are staying in the same spot and the sun is moving away from us. So it only appears to go down below the horizon which is created in our eyes by perspective. Now I'm going to speed up the footage so that we can see the effect it has on the sky as the sun continues to go off into the distance. And yes, I ask you to trust your senses and see what you are seeing, rather than trying to interpret what we are seeing as the earth moving. Just have a watch and see what makes sense to you.